So I'm running Windows LTSC. Can I install a Windows Store app somehow? Let's look at that. Hey there, this is Tom from Tom's Tech Show, and today we're going to cover uh, something one of my more popular videos is about Windows 10 LTSC, the actual way Microsoft should have created Windows. No garbage, no crap, no nothing, just Windows, a few minor accessories, and that's it. Just clean Windows. So everything else in Windows 10 with all the Candy Crush crap and everything else on it just does a complete disservice to the consumer. I mean, just completely doing all that. I mean, I, I really shame on Microsoft. Just that's... is You've broken, you know, a huge trust with you know all of your your people like like I said I've, I have PCs here that I bought that were signature PCs that are not supposed to have any garbage or any crapware but since the intrinsic underlying base and everything about Windows 10 is crapware that you get with it it just blows the whole thing you know you're never gonna sell another signature PC because Everything comes with garbage, so why why spend the time to go do that, right? Just go down to Walmart and buy a PC, right? Okay, so not to completely rant off on Microsoft like that, but they deserve it, they know it, and I don't think they're going to ever change it. But I do have my LTSC uh, system here set up. See, it's nice and clean. There's nothing here we've got. Got a couple of Windows system things, a few different accessories, you know, notepad and, and all that. No garbage. No Candy Crush, no Netflix, no whoever buys into getting onto the panel at all. But one application that I use all of the time is OneNote. I've got a lot of a lot of data in OneNote and I want to keep my OneNote updated and always be running, you know, the latest version you know, to make it as stable as possible. But if you do a search for OneNote install, in the 2016, you get this message. We are no longer developing new features for OneNote 2016. If you want to take advantage of the latest OneNote has to offer, switch to the OneNote for Windows 10. That means I have to get OneNote from the Microsoft Store. So that means either installing regular Windows 10 or find some method of putting Windows 10 onto the LTSC, the Windows 10 store onto the LTSC version. Well, luckily, I had her on GitHub under the account KKKGO. We have a set of files here that allows us to do that and Let's let's do this and see. You know, let's download it here really quickly. It takes just a couple of minutes to download this. Um, it has a couple of different components. I mean, if you look here, um, installing is pretty easy. You just run the command. But it says if you do not want the app installer or purchase app or Xbox identity, then we can delete those. Well, the only thing I want is the app installer. So we're going to do as minimal as possible. In, the, in this install. So let's extract all these files here and that will get us to everything that we need. Okay, so here's the bundle. Here's all the files that are here in this bundle download. So all of these are uh, Microsoft applications. Obviously they were taken and they were pulled out of uh, the regular Windows 10 build but there's some things that I don't want. I don't want the store purchase app and I don't want the Xbox identity app. I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm only gonna be, basically I'm installing OneNote and maybe a few other free apps uh, that I'm gonna need. So we're just gonna delete those. They're still in the zip file if I ever want them. But, so all we need is the desktop app installer and the Windows Store, that is it. So getting this to work is pretty easy. We right click here and we say run as administrator. So there's this add store command file. We run that as administrator. It's gonna come up and ask me to run. I say yes, administrator, and it's gonna go. So now it takes takes a few minutes, and I'm hoping um, that 
the big hope, right, is that just by installing the store that you don't get Candy Crush back and all the other garbage were. So this only takes takes just a minute here. It should be done fairly quickly. Okay, processing. And here we go. Almost done. And a little bit more. Adding these files here and there. Putting back all those components that were not included with the LTSC version. And now we get to the app installer, which is one piece that we need if we're gonna if we're gonna add the store, right? We you need to add a way to install applications. So that should be done pretty quick. Okay, we're done. Exit. And let's close this down, close this down. Now if I click here, what do I have here? Brand new Microsoft Store. Do I have, I don't have the Xbox thing down on the bottom here. I don't have any other pieces. It's only Microsoft Store. So if I click that, it opens up and we get the Microsoft Store. So now we're back. We have the Microsoft Store on LTSC so that I can install, install that application. Now I haven't rebooted. Last time I did this, I rebooted, but let's see if I have to reboot in order to install OneNote. We'll see what happens, okay. So here we go, getting here. Okay, it says I can click install. And boom, it says pending, acquiring license, downloading OneNote. So there we go. I'm now downloading an app from the Windows Store that I've placed onto Microsoft LTSC. So this is really how Microsoft should have done it provide a clean version of Windows and the App Store in order to get applications and let the user decide. You as the user of the PC and the operating system, you can decide, so we can actually pin that to start, you get to decide what applications you want instead of the other you know, tons of garbage. Now I can launch OneNote, comes up, you have to sign in with an account, but um, I'm not gonna do that right now. But you can see it completely installs and it's good and ready to go. So if you have LTSC and you actually want the Microsoft Store back for some of these things that Microsoft is gonna slowly be moving things that way. I mean, you can you can actually download iTunes. There's, you know, if you look under all of the uh, free applications that are there, um, uh, iTunes is there now in, inside the store. Um, a couple different things. I mean, you can get Spotify and some other free items, top free apps, you know, there's a whole bunch of them you know, that you use normally. Like if you want Facebook as, as an app, uh, Hulu, you know, some of these things are kind of, would be kind of nice to have if you subscribe to those services. But if you don't, I don't want the app there. I don't want it taking up space. I don't want it reminding me or giving me messages. Oh, you need to update this or you need to do that or, or anything or special offers or anything. No, I don't want any of that. I want it clean and I only want I only want what I want on my PC. So there you go. That's the Microsoft Store added to Windows LTSC. So if you've got LTSC, you can get back some of those applications maybe that you did want, but not all the garbage, right? All right, well, thanks for watching this. If you have any comments or any other videos that you want me to make, comment down below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you like all the videos on my channel and kind of what I do, then just follow me, subscribe, and all that. You'll get, you know, notified of my videos whenever I make a new one. All right. Well, thanks for watching this today and take care.